Well, this challenge is called Dress Up Pronto. So look alive, crew. The challenge in Dress Up Pronto. You are going to secretly choose a historical character from your mind or from my list on camera. And you are going to scrounge and wear your costume with props and makeup, if anything. Uh, that's the dress up part. But here's the pronto. You have only five minutes to assemble your costume and get back on camera. On your turn, you can say one sentence in character about, um, about having lunch. But no dead historical giveaways. And if no one guesses who you are, you talk more speaking as the character where you were, what you have to do, but it can't be a dead giveaway about why you are famous. Now, five minutes are gonna fly by, so the challenge is really about coping with stress and improvising. Commit to your role and you will be inspired. The music will get louder and faster near the end of five minutes. And let me give you a tip. Start with any headgear or accessories or uh, hair and makeup. Now you have exactly one minute to go with a personal favorite from your own mind or choosing from the on-camera list. <whistles> Choose a character that sparks a costume idea with you. The first mate has the helm to the end. Pick your character, create him or her, her in five minutes flat. The music gets loud with one minute to go.
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. First mate stops share screen, pins each character one at a time into main view to say something brief in character about having their lunch with no dead giveaways. And uh, all the players, they guess which character it is. If there's no correct answer, the character gives progressive clues in character as the character. Somewhere they have been, something they have done, but no dead giveaways. And after all players present their character, everyone's going to vote on the best costumes, the best characterizations. Not just the costume, the characterization. You can vote on, uh, on gold, silver, bronze, and cardboard. Cardboard will be the participation trophy. Stop share screen now. Go to gallery view and pin one character at a time. See if anyone can guess who it is. This challenge is called, What You Doing Now? It's a competition, like log rolling. You are trying to unbalance your opponent, and you're going to send them tumbling into the water. It's hard because you are 100% physically occupied while constantly thinking of something new that you have to do. I'll demonstrate. Then you will be put into matches, which can be knockout rounds, or round robin, as time allows. So you're going to be competing with other players one-on-one. -on -one. So I've got an open playing space. I've got about six feet back from my webcam and uh, about six feet wide. I'm going to demonstrate uh, both player one and player two. Player one starts an activity like uh, washing a window. And then player two will start doing the same thing. And both are fully invested in detailed, committed physical action. There is no generalizing. You have to be specific, detailed, and realistic. You are actually washing a window. So player two is washing the window, and they ask player one, what you doing now? And the second player, or rather player one, says, I'm brushing my teeth. Both players instantly change activities. Both are brushing their teeth. Player two, player one. And you're fully committed to that. And you can't anticipate the next change. You are brushing your teeth realistically until someone states the next activity. So now player one says, what are you doing now? And player two would say, I am bowling. And then player two would say, what you doing now? And player one would say, I am juggling octopuses. <laughs> and player two would have to do the same thing. But as player one is doing it, they say, what you doing now? And player two would say, I am cliff climbing. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, what you doing now? And player one would say, I am eating tarantulas. <laughs> what you doing now? And player two would say, I am, oh, oh, ah, I am, I am. So player two flinched, and player two has knocked off the, lo the rolling log. Player two is knocked out of the game. You are disqualified if you uh, come in late on picking up an activity and you say, I am, I am. And you're disqualified if you're not acting committed to the current activity, like eating a uh, tarantula. This is not playing basketball. You're really just waiting for the next action to be announced. The first mate or the designated judges will decide. Because playing basketball isn't this, playing basketball is this. 
The first mate will decide whether or not you came in late, whether or not you stalled, or whether or not you were not physically committed. You can't pretend to wash a window waiting for the next line. The first mate will run knockout rounds in the main room. Or you can put groups of four in breakout rooms and play matches between the four and play knockout. Or round robin, which for four players in a breakout room, a round robin would be six matches. And the best record would be the winner and go on to the main room. Or if it was a knockout, the same thing. On to the main room finals, if time allows. Just playing the game in breakout pairs all at once makes for a good short warm-up for any meeting. The first mate has the helm. I know about you. I know what you can do. I know your hidden talent. Do you? Teams of four and three are going to combine their talents for a three-ring circus, a flea market circus for the camera, to compete with other trios. I know, I know, in your mind you're thinking, but, but I, I, I have no special talents. Yeah, 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 wah, 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 call the wambulance. As always, we will help spark you. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Your team will rehearse your tiny circus or variety show to compete against other teams. You will pick a name for your flea circus. Extra points for combining your talents together. For example, you might contribute music a, a, as a duet together or a comedy duo or sound effects to a teammate's act or their trick. Or do an act together on two screens at once, like telling a joke. You could alternate in a song or you could do a rap off or a dance off against each other. Each of you will introduce one teammate's act as an MC at the circus. And now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, your lovely Linda, or Graham the Terrible, or Miranda the Magnificent. All breakout rooms get the first three minutes for planning and rehearsal. And then in the main room, each team gets three or more minutes to present their circus. The time limit will be set by the first mate. Find ways to perform together, like in a duet or a comedy duo or a dance-off. Everyone votes for the best circus and the best solo performance. And the cardboard award is given to the finest fantastical fail. If time is no object, the first mate might afterwards mix up the players in new teams, new flea circuses, and do another round of acts and new tricks. The first mate will now put you in breakout rooms of three or more and bring you back to the big top after three minutes of planning for a presentation of no more than about a minute per performer. The first mate has the helm. You all find some floating crates of food. You must scrounge from your own kitchen to create that and bring it to camera. No frozen foods. Now, each breakout team of four has to cooperate to plan a complete meal for the four of you from all that you scrounged working together and combining. Each team will then present to the whole player group their meal plan, and then all players will vote 
on which team created the best feast. You cannot vote for your own team. You might want to jot these elements of the menu down to take with you, so you're thinking of what you need for the different things. Everyone in the team will contribute to creating an aperitif, which is a pre-supper drink, appetizers, a magnificent salad, creative main courses, crazy desserts, and an after-dinner drink. The wrinkle is, you have only two minutes to scrounge all you can think of before the food crates sink in the ocean. So you have two minutes to grab some gathering bags or a box and go ransack your kitchen and pantry and fill those bags and boxes up. Because if you don't get back on camera in two minutes, you can only contribute two items to the feast and your team will suffer. So, go, go, go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time is up. Cast off. Any latecomers? They can only contribute two items to the meal. Now every person who thought to bring spices gets an extra huzzah. The first mate will either put everyone in breakout rooms of three or four, or everyone will do it together as one team. First mate will give you at minimum five minutes to plan a combined integrated meal. For example, if your team plans a soup with your, your onion and someone else's carrot and someone else's uh, marshmallows, and then each team will present their cook-off to the judges in only two minutes. Each team member will present one of the elements, the opening drinks, appetizers, the salad, the main course, the dessert, and after dinner drinks would be six if you go that far. And each of you needs to really sell your course to the voters. The voters is all the other players, everyone else. You cannot vote for your own feast. Now the first mate has the helm. You can end this video, assign breakout teams of three or four for five minutes of meal planning, and then presentation of your meal. Now, if you have a little more time, the first mate can give you more time for planning. You guys can lobby the first mate if you feel you want to do it longer. But always time is a factor. Bon appétit!